so number five six seven eight and nine ten you know we have here we have a problem we have an issue with some of these things and uh, we need to know which one is correct which one is not and the first one is says bangkok thailand who is nicknamed the venice of asia has many canals so what do you think huda which one is incorrect and what type of error do we have here sorry uh, where is the sentence uh, huda we're talking about let me see which page if you have your book it's 170 if it's 170 yes. and uh, we have number five which says bangkok thailand who is nicknamed the venice of asia has many canals what type of of error that we have here uh, thank you which are nicknamed okay which are say nicknamed? Which, which is nicknamed it's okay which is nicknamed what type of error is here what do we what do we call it since we have who which why etc we're talking about subordination therefore the error here is called check for full subordination thank you very much Huda, for answering this one Number six, who would like to do it? Number six, I'm trying to see. Uh, we have, uh, well, we have, I'm trying to see those people who didn't speak to us uh, frequently here. We have, uh, first of all, Amina, and then we move to other people. Amina, would you like to do number six? Check for, check for the word order it has nothing to do with word order i'm afraid so there is no problem with it mm. well it's again subordination because you say area which sends it says area which sends area which sends thank you very much Amina for helping us in this sentence as well and we will move now to number seven uh, just to make sure that we got the right people to answer this one I'm just lowering your health hands again please raise your hand only if you know number seven Mesa please yes number seven uh, okay uh, ancient Egyptians uh, how, uh, who were gathering um, it is the um, uh, a verb, uh, verb tense, verb agreement tense and form. Yes, it's verb agreement tense and form. Thank you very much for helping us out. Uh, thank you. We now lower your hands again. And if you know number eight, please raise your hand. Only if you know number eight, please raise your hand. Zainab, yes, please. Yes, which one? And uh, I'm talking about number eight, and I think. Uh, the sentence. Number eight, page one hundred and seventy uh, in your book. The Brooklyn Bridge, where, which was built uh, by John uh, Robin, uh, Roblings, okay. uh, uh, I, uh, stop. Oh, you're stuck. Okay, no problem, uh, Zainab. We can move. Sorry, we can move later on to another uh, person first of all, and then we can go back to you whenever you you feel you can answer the question. I'm sorry for being so fast, but I have to do so in order to finish with this chapter. Maybe move to something else, or maybe to stop today just on this chapter subordination because we want you to translate as well. So number eight, we have a problem with number eight. Yes, Zainab, we would like to answer. Okay, be my guest. Yes. Yes, yes. Uh, I don't know. I don't uh, check this uh, sentence, uh, Mr. Muhammad. Uh, Brooklyn Bridge, which was both. Uh, okay, for the time being, I will yeah. help you. This is the mistake. It should be omitted oh. because we need full sub. Because we need subject and verb both present neither repeated and also we need subordination but here we don't have subordination Th this is this uh, subordinate sentence so yeah. this one should be omitted because it yeah. must be a subject yeah. and verb thank you very much Zainab 
I'm, I'm sorry for that, but I need to be very fast, as I said. We move now to, I think Amna said she wants to answer the question. Amna, please, would you like to answer number nine? You have the floor. In 1678, John Bunyan, who published his masterpiece, uh, Belgrin Progress, which proved to be extremely popular, we have to omit who, uh, because we have a repetition here. It's not repetition, we call it still subordination, we have a problem with subordination. This is a subordinate clause, but here we don't have subordination, so we just get <laughs> removed, just who. Thank you very much for Amna. Um, no? Now, uh, number uh, 10. Number 10, we have Ali, please. That's number 10. I think the problem with B, uh, because Beer Buck, who was uh, growing up in China, was an American by birth. And if, uh, anyway, we don't We need say, to add... Uh, we don't, no, no, we don't say who was growing up. We say who grew up, grew up, who grew up, we have also subordination problem and we will simply okay. say who grew up, it must be who grew up, so this is a mistake, once again I need to save my, my whiteboard otherwise we will lose everything. Uh, okay, now I will... I think somebody asked me a question about another page and I think he said or she said that we would like to work, uh, is it on this page, 167? Who was the person who asked me about this page? Somebody said that he wants to ask, she wants to ask something about uh, page 167. Nobody, maybe. Could you please raise your... Yes, Aya, you said you want to ask. Please, what's your question? Aya, did you ask anything about 167? Yeah, if yes, please, what's your question? Yeah, yeah I think this exercise is very difficult and I can solve okay, it. Okay, fine. Um, what's your question? Um, which, which one I is difficult? I want to solve it. Yeah. So you want to do um, the exercise all the words, yes. You want to do some of them because we cannot do all of them. Just choose any one you want. Um, okay, uh, for example, number four. That one is an old photograph. It's a main clues. That one is an old photograph, yes. And how do you translate it into Arabic? Um... Where did you bring uh, this person? Uh, هذه, this is a new one, that's all. This is a new one. We don't have this person. This is 167. So, this um, is a new one. This is a new one. That's all. We, we don't have a person. We don't have any person here. Okay, what else? Uh -huh. Um, can I know that uh, um, the sentence can be uh, main clause or uh, subordinate clause or can be both? Uh, so be which both one can be both? Or? Yes, you can tell us if there is anything here that can be both. Um, uh, I think there, there is no one, I think. I don't know. Okay, yes. In number three, they say that, uh, in number three, uh, the, the book says that uh, it can be posed. Okay, how, how do you can translate I know it? Yes. So, uh, how do you translate um, it? In other words, we say who failed the last exam? It could be a question, as we said. Or you can say, or you can say, we have also another one, I think, which is number 12. Number 12, it can be understood in two ways. The first one is who babysits the next door neighbors. من الذي يجالس الأطفال في لجيراننا لهؤلاء الجيران لجيران القريبين يعني or you can say الأشخاص الذين yeah. الشخص الذي الشخص الذي 
usually some other etc so we have this one also as it can have both things it's got to be a, bl a phrase it can be uh, a main course sorry and a supposed course so to speak so uh, okay, this number, is two, uh, number two number two yes number two uh, whom did they visit uh, what is the translation whom did they visit this is a question man allati zaru it's a question whom did they visit uh, it's a question sure. yes so it should be man allati zaru yeah. yes Okay, thanks. Now I'd like to invite you maybe next time to translate some of them so that we can review them with you uh, next time. Thank you very much, Aya, for your interest in the exercise here, which is the main clause and uh, and subordinate clause or whatsoever, adjective clause. Uh, anyway, anyway, this is a long story. Your question, if I understood you correctly, is how to know that one of them is subordinate clause. One of them is adjective clause and the meaning clause at the same time. That could be both. And the only answer for this is through context. You can see it here. Uh, maybe you can you can try to guess. But anyway, by practice, you can know which one can be both an adjective or a main clause. Thank you very much for your interest in this page. Now we move to number 100 and... Uh, 71 171 it talks about <coughs> adverb clauses adverb clauses uh, there is an adverb of time cause and result condition opposition manner and comparison and uh, this is long story that we can make it short by saying after it means bada since you since you mindu since mindu before قبل by the time مع حلول الوقت الفلاني while في أثناء so the only thing that I would like to ask you to do is to read those and try to, to know how they are translated into Arabic they are just to tell you that we have an adverb adverb of time of manner of comparison of the position condition or whatsoever and you need to know how to translate them now for for this exercise I would like to say until cable television one inventor this is the time and the translation is ila uh, it means ila hin ikhtira'i al al cable television al cable i don't know how to translate it cable maybe something about qanawat al televisioniya aw ishtirakat al qanawat al televisioniya applicants will be considered provided that their files are complete now i'm just explaining them you do not need to answer any question because i'm not asking any question Provided that their files are complete, this one is translated as Sharitata and Takuna Malafatuhum Muktamila. Number three, and now we have soon whether or not the voluntarily uh, he voluntarily turns into turns in his resignation. Qariban, whether or not, which means Sawaun Akadam Asikalatahu Tawan Amla. As water vapor cools, as water vapor cools etc because Neptune orbits the sun only once every 165 years because this is because so this is how we deal with this exercise what I would like you to do, not here maybe, but at a later time, because uh, you need to understand them. You need to translate the, what we say, the clauses. I need to ask you to translate the clauses. So, okay, we can just do some exercise here. Who would like to translate them? I will just uh, ask somebody to challenge me by saying that he or she can translate the clause that we have here. It is on in number seven, and this is page one hundred seventy-one. We have Ali. Please, you have the mic. Number seven. It's just the subordinate clause. Number seven. Just the subordinate clause. Nothing more. Although the percentage of murders committed with dangerous, with uh, with handguns, sorry, I cannot read it well 
increase it's on page 171 yes على الرغم من نسبة القتل كوميديت مع I think على الرغم من نسبة القاتلين مقارنة مع زيادة أعداد القاتلين بالسلاح. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but this is the wrong answer, Ali. We would like to ask someone else. Thank you, Ali, for helping us, but this is the wrong answer. And we have Maha. Would you please? Would you like to say something, Maha? How do you translate although? But please, although is not بالرغم من or بالرغم من. It's مع أن. For example, because they say that الرغم من is not good. They say I don't know. So what do you say? Okay, you can um, say it okay. you like. Okay. Uh, no problem. I don't have any problem with this. مع أن أو الرغم من الرغم من ارتفاع نسبة القتلى الجرائم المرتكبة باستخدام handguns اللي هي الأسلحة. No, no, not as a head away. It's handguns, which could be with the set or whatsoever. Thank you very much. As a head away, okay, we can say as a head away, no problem, but it's usually with the set. So this is the correct translation. Let's move to something else. You know that is very important to translate them, and we are now on page one hundred and seventy-two with this exercise. And I will just uh, say to you, mm, Huda, please, if you like, would you like Huda to, to do something? Huda, number one, two, three, and four, could you please choose one and maybe number one if you like to choose? James was a It was James. No, no. It was our sense. Yes, sense, sense. Because we have now a subordinator. We need a support, a full subordination here. Yes, that's right. Yeah, that's right, Huda. Yes, thank you very much. Now we move to Wala, please, Wala. Wala, number two. Okay. Uh, number two, because uh, he depleted uh, many wildlife features. I think because number eight, because excessive hunting. Thank you very much. Yes, this is the correct answer. Uh, Abdullah, we would like to hear you say something about uh, Abdullah. Yes, number three. Abdullah, could you please do number three? Okay. The lowlands of Albania are quite fertile um, because they are alluvial. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Abdullah. This is good. Now we move to Shireen number four. Number four, uh, maybe it's D or tent, American Indian language, which offer, which uh, differ widely, or tend to grow. Is it right? American Indian languages with different, only all tend to grow, yes. Thank you very much. This is the correct answer, yes. Uh, we move now to... Who is raising his or her hand? Uh, okay, now we move to number... Page 172 is still there. And we have number 5. Number five, uh, I would like to ask now Amina to do something, to say something about number five. Number five, uh, although he was. Uh, yes, it is subordination, we call it subordination. 
Yes, thank you very much, Amina. This is the right answer. Now we have number six, and we would like to invite number six. Mesa, number six. Number six, please. Uh, okay, uh, because we would, uh, wo uh, wo uh, we shall omit which. So this is the mistake. Okay, thank you very much. Now we would like to move to maybe Sana, please, number seven. Uh, the Bunsen burner is so named because it uh, thought to have been invented by Robert uh, Bunsen. Uh, uh, I think it should be uh, is named so because it it's a word order number eight. No, 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 you're wrong. No. No. Subordination again. It is thought to have been invented. It is thought. Full subordination oh, because yes. we never have a full verb after. No. Thank you very much. Now we have the uh, Shirin. Maybe you can help us with number eight. Fifty-five percent of the balance. Although they are only ten. Uh, although they are only ten. Also uh, check for. Full, full subordination. If the problem would be seventy percent of the Burmese farmers. Yeah, the problem would be of all the are under yeah. cultivation. So, what's the problem? What's the um, problem? I said it's be. Yeah, it's a full, full subordination. Uh, so the problem would be. How do you correct, correct this sentence? I cannot understand it, by the way. Could you please help me understand it? 75% of the Burmese farmers, I understand it now. We have 75% of the Burmese mm -hmm. far farmers, I understand, no problem. But what about only 10% of their land is under cultivation? Is under cultivation? Mm, I don't know, actually. <laughs> Okay, I will help you, I will help you, because we say here, always start with the priorities and the last to say, check for the verb and subject both present, neither repeated. We have 75%, we have preferred, but we don't have a verb all over, all over the sentence we don't have a verb, and it should be 75% of the Burmese are <laughs> farmers. So, yes, yeah, Either I how do you translate it? <laughs> خمسة وسبعون من المئة من البورميون مزارعون مع أن نسبة <تصفيق> الأراضي المزروعة لا تتجاوز عشرة من المئة Thank you very much <تصفيق> This is difficult and I knew how to answer it because not because I read it carefully but because I read the rules carefully and I know how to find them So this is the difference between you and me Okay, number nine Number nine, and I think we have uh, Mesa, Amina, Amira, Amira. This Amira, we are we we haven't heard you talk today. So please, number nine. Number nine, I think uh, number D, because yes, we um, have a problem with the subordination. The, 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 um, because yes because of it should be because oh. of this is subordination thank you very yes. much Amira thank you yeah. very much Amira and as you can see we have because of plastic buttons are used on men's shirts because they are strength and can withstand any washings this is a sentence that I would like somebody to tell me what's wrong with it and maybe we'd like to take voila please so, what do you think about um, number 10? Plastic buttons are used on nature because they are strength. Mm. I think strength and can. Okay, how do you correct a strength? This is a word, or word form. It's a word form. It must be strong, okay. It must be very quick and fast. Strong, yes. Yeah. You must be very fast giving me the answer. Thank you very much. Now we have other ex examples that I will not go through, but maybe. 
it's useful to translate some of them here it says uh, a noun clause the difference between noun clause subject object etc what I would like to ask you now is to challenge me and I am lowering your hands just to see who's going to challenge me uh, to translate number number six and this is page number 173 who would like to translate number six number six nobody wants to challenge me except Abdullah and Ali we will start with Abdullah yes number six what do you have here yeah I will do my best here uh, I think it's تلك uh, المرأة قالت أنها غاضبة جدا you have one two problems first of all قالت تلك المرأة you put the verb first you do not say قالت okay. أن you say قالت إن because we have كسر همزة إن thank you very much anyway you gave the correct translation and I would like now to ask Saber to give me the translation of number three uh, yes Saber number three would you like to give me the translation of number three it's page 173 we have different words thank you very much this, this was a good translation but you had a problem with the word remain you mistranslated this word thank you very much Saber now we move quickly to Huda and after Huda Amina and Wala Huda, please, can you please translate number seven? Charles believes that his opinions are not important. I think that Charles is not important. So you cannot say Ara'ihi because you have to say Ara'ahu. And the issue Ara'ahu is not important. You cannot say Hamma, you have to say Muhimma because there are two different words. Muhimma, not Hamma, yes. Thank you very much, Huda. You yes. Uh, sorry, sorry, Huda, what's your question? So there's, there is a very big difference, and I would like to leave it to you to, to know. There is a very big difference between Hamma and Muhimma. Uh, Hamma and Muhimma, one of them is means something as important, and the second one means it is, uh, it's alarming, it, it, it has some concerns. But we say Muhammad, we do not say Hamma. Hamma, it means that you are very mm -hmm. concerned, you are very worried about something. Thank you very much, Huda. And I hope I answered your question. Now we have Amina, as I promised. Amina will translate number five. Mm, this is difficult, number five. And we're still page 173. Okay. Number three. Number five. Uh, shall I translate number three, sir? Uh, number five. It's difficult. Uh, yes, it is difficult. Uh, For that reason, I would like to translate it for you. Could you please complete it now? حقيقة أن فريد حقيقة حقيقة أن فريد حصل على أفضل درجة في Okay, I'm translating for you, but I would like to ask you this. Th here is now the here is the question. Now this is not Arabic at all, but this is how it's translated literally. I would like to ask you to m make it more Arabic because it doesn't make any sense to say We don't say such a thing in Arabic. What well, is the meaning? So the question is for you, Amina. Can you please rephrase it? Can you please give me something better than this phrasing? Something in Arabic which is better than this one. حصل فريد على أفضل درجة في الاختبار مما أدهش أجل. Excellent. This is what we want. Yes, exactly. So when we have a long sentence like this one, starting with a noun, with a noun close, 
ويدو نوت سي حقيقة أن فريد حصل على أفضل درجة من الاختبار دهشة كل شخص بس وي ديفايد إنت تو فاس وي سي حصل فريد على أفضل درجة في الاختبار وهذا أدهش الجميع Thank you very much Amini you did a very good job and thank you for volunteering to answer this question so we would like to have now we'd like to ask we have Fatima Fatima could you please translate number ten فنص الإعلان ينص الإعلان على أن هذا المنتج يوقف التنفس التنفس perspiration perspiration yes perspiration is not تنفس because respiration is تنفس perspiration is تعرق this is another word thank you very much Fatima but I would like to ask you to translate number eleven as well بما أن that no one ate her special dish upset her because this مما أزعج المضيفة أن لا أحد عفوا لا لا you you said it in the right way أزعج المضيفة أزعج المضيفة مضيفة مفعول به أزعج المفيد مضيفة yes أحدا لم يتناول طعامها المميز لا بأس إذن أزعج المضيفة أن أحدا لم يتناول طبقها المفضل That's right That's very correct Yes Thank you very much Fatima You did a very good job And we move to Aya And ask Aya if possible On page 174 To do for us number 15 Number 15 please Aya نمبر 15 يعتقد ال Is that your baby, Aya? يعتقد يعتقد الباحثون Yeah, my baby Okay, how old is she? يعتقد الباحثون One year One year old, okay, yeah Number 15 Yeah يعتقد الباحثون أنهم so Muhammad, yes. What can I ask a question? I, I, you said Kamu. Could you please tell us when they are going to sit down? We don't have Kamu in Arabic. We don't have this word. Azalu. We don't have this word Kamu at all in Arabic. You, you get my point. Have isolated Azalu. We do not have Kamu because if they Kamu, they have to sit down. We do not want them to sit down and stand up. Yes. Thank you very much, Aya. It's very good uh, to, to hear you and uh, I'm very pleased to know that you have a baby and that she or he is helping you in the translation of this sentence. And you are giving us a lesson for all of us that even if you have some chores like babysitting your baby, you're still enthusiastic and you still want to learn. It is something that is setting the example for all of us and for that reason, I will give you another chance to give me another sentence if you like, if you, if you don't mind, Aya. And this is number 20. Could you please do number 20, Aya? Oh, maybe you have problems yeah. with that. Yes, okay, number 20. Yeah. Um, uh, I told you if they come, if they come, then they have to sit down. So there is nothing like that in Arabic. Okay. تعلم الشركة أن موظفيها سوف سيضربون قريبا. سيضربون قريبا. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. I did a very good job, and I remind you, remind everybody that you do not have قام because if قام then you have to have sit, which is يقعد يجلس etc. Now we have number 16 who would like to do the translation of number 16. I would like to ask Sabr please to know number 16. Mm, maybe if you start with the verb. Uh, yes, I need to tell you which uh, page we're on. We're on page 174, yes. 174, 16. 
ألقى ضابط الشرطة القبضة على السيدة المتهمة. Somebody you have a problem with the verb claimed. Claimed iddaa, iddaa. This is not arrested. It's iddaa. So iddaa ضابط الشرطة أن المرأة كانت مسرعة في سيارتها. أنها كانت مسرعة في سيارتها. Thank you very much anyway for your help. We still we still welcome all 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 translation attempts, even if they are mistaken, even if they are wrong, because we want to correct them at the end of the day. And we have number thirteen. We who would like to translate number thirteen, maybe Fatima would like to translate number thirteen, please. Well, we do not have Naqasha because argued, which means Jadal. We don't have Jadal in Arabic, so we say Idda'a. You can say Idda'a. The class, you do not say Al Fasl, but you say Tullab al Saf. Qala Tullab al Saf, Idda'a Tullab al Saf. Anna al Ikhtibara lem yakun Adila, and that's good. Thank you very much. I think you're doing a very good job in translation now from English into Arabic. Your skills would be better maybe if you translate on the paragraph level. Uh, but Fatima, could you please do, f do, f do me a favor by translating number six? A woman that witnessed the fight said she would not testify willingly. Could you please translate this one six? Ma'am. And uh, uh, we don't I'll say that. It must be who, of course. Uh, of course, it's an exercise. And it says there is a mistake, maybe. Anyway, a woman that witnessed the fight said she would not testify willingly. المرأة التي شاهدت المعركة تقول أنها لن 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 تحضر للشهادة برغبتها. So uh, Fatima, I would like just to correct some few important mistakes here. The first thing is that you have to put the verb قالت امرأة and not الامرأة. And the, the other problem that you say is that تقول but it's not تقول because it's past tense. So قالت امرأة شهدت الشجار إنها we don't say أنها because we have كسر همزة إن لن تشهد بطوع إرادتها and thank you very much فاطمة for your translation we would like now to move to another exercise I think we have to jump quickly because we're running short of time and I would like to encourage you all to translate any sentence you want remember that we have a group on Facebook and on this Facebook group, you can post all kinds of sentences that you would like to have so that we can translate them for you or you can translate them for each other and we can suggest what you have. Please, just feel free to, to go to the Facebook group and post your questions. But I think all of you should have access to that group. Otherwise, uh, I think I have to put uh, the link. Let me just one moment i'm just trying to to see the link maybe okay i need to see the link and for that reason i have to me through number nine now okay i will now put the link for the group this is a closed group nobody can see it so please uh, try to subscribe to that group if you have Facebook accounts well otherwise if you don't have it if you don't have a Facebook account you'll be in trouble because you will not be able to join a group without a Facebook account unfortunately for you so next page which is number 176 now 176 it's too late to go to the movie. Who would like to translate it? Who would like to translate this one? And I think we have many people raising their hands. They are the same people. We do not have any new faces. But I will start with Wala and say, Wala, it is too late to go to the movie. Uh, it's too late uh, to go to the mall. And the time is too late to go to the mall. Thank you very much. Yes, you can say that. Number three, it is ridiculous that we wasted our money 
and I would like now to ask Shireen please to answer this question من ال من السخرية أن أن نضيع وقتنا سوري أن نضيع أموالنا. يوز مصي أن نضيع. This is past. أن ضيعنا أن ضيعنا. Yeah, أن ضيع. Yeah. Thank you very much, Shireen. Thank you. We move now to Maisa. Maisa number five. Okay. Number five. Okay. Um. من السخيف أننا انزعجنا على مثل هذا الحادث غير المهم وغير غير كبير. But you cannot say انزعجنا. We don't know who انزعج. It could be من السخيف أن انزعج. Okay. Thank you very much. This is a very good exercise and translation. We move now to Fatima, please. Fatima number seven. من الغباء أن تضيع وقتك محاولاً إقناعه. Okay, thank you very much. This is a good translation as well. Now you notice I'm not focusing on lots of accuracies in translation, but this is a very good one. And now we have Abdullah Ramush, I think. Abdullah Ramush. It is number nine. Okay, it is unfortunate that the pro at the picnic had to be cancelled. من سوء الحظ أن الرحلة تم إلغاؤها. We do not have تم by the way and had to be cancelled. من المؤسف أن الرحلة كان لابد من إلغائها. Something like this. Thank you very much, Abdullah, but we don't have تم. Yes. We don't have تم. And read my book on whatsoever on translation whatsoever. You can see what I mean. Now we have سنة سنة number eleven. Eleven. So Abraham Lincoln selected president. انتخب انتخب Abraham Lincoln رئيسا للولايات المتحدة في عام 1860. I'm sure. If it's okay, I can put another version. I'm all ears. Please just say whatever you want to say. شاهد عام 1860 انتخاب الرئيس انتخاب إبراهيم لينكولن رئيسا للبلاد. Yeah, that's that's fine. Yes, that's better, maybe much better. And I would say that كان عام 1860 هو العام الذي انتخب به إبراهيم لينكولن. And I would like to ask you a question. سنا, this is a question for you. What's what's the word Arabic word for Abraham? I'm not talking uh, Ibrahim. about Lincoln. Ibrahim, no, Ibrahim, okay. Yes. Can we say Ibrahim? Can we say Ibrahim? Uh, no. So in the Quran, well, I don't know. In the Quran, can you say, Yeah, Ibrahim? No. No, you can say it. This is one of the, this is one no. of the revelations. Yes, you can say it. You can say, Ibrahim, this is one of the recitations of revealed by God. To the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, it is to say Abraham rather than Abraham, Abraham, Abraham. It is either Ibrahim in Arabic or Abraham in the Quran. I'm talking about the Quran. Just check your knowledge. It could be Abraham. It could be Ibrahim. And I really sometimes I'm surprised why people say Ibrahim but they don't name their children at all. Abraham, although both of them are. Named in the Quran, and they can say Abraham. Ah, anyway, anyway, thank you very much, Sana, for helping us out in this sentence. Number eighteen, and we would like to go number eighteen. I think I would like to ask uh, Ali. Number eighteen. Okay, number eighteen. Uh, it is important for him to have the operation soon. إنه من المهم له أداء العملية قريبا. Okay, thank you very much. This is correct. Can you please do number nineteen? Is it wise to see a dentist one year? إنه من الحكمة رؤية طبيب الأسنان مرة واحدة في السنة. So this is why I ask you to translate this one because you said إنه we do not like إنه 
uh, unless there is emphasis so you can remove in now because we don't have any emphasis here thank you very much Ali and we'd like to move now to another person and to another exercise uh, so we have no problem with these sentences but we can translate them though it's 177 so turn your book on 177 and I would like to ask now uh, Shirin uh, Aya Sana and well uh, I think Aya we start with Aya first Aya could you please translate number 13 Aya Aya you're you're mute in other words you have to unmute yourself to talk unless you think you do not want to participate in this exercise anyway Aya is not with us she is not unmuting herself sorry I will uh, now lower your, your hand if you want to participate please do so Huda is raising her hand and she can say she can provide us with the translation and a good translation for sentence number 13 Satellite photographs can provide information where and how much rain is falling. Actually, um, I'm not certain about the answer, but, uh, the meaning of satellite photographs. No, forget so about it. So we like more sky. but uh, so we, but we you know something in Arabic. We start with the mm -hmm. verb. We always start with the verb. Where is the verb? can provide so we start with uh, can. Can what, provide. Uh, what is can what yeah. is can in arabic yeah yumkin yumkin sawar al-aqmar al-sana'iya an tumiddina bil-ma'lumat al-khasa bi-makan wa kimiyat al-amtar al-lati al-saqita aw al-lati saqahtun thank you very much yes fi makan wa kimiyat etc yes you gave a correct translation Although we can make a better one, but anyway, this is the correct one. It doesn't change the meaning. We have number 18. Who would like to translate number 18? Number 18, number 18, Mesa, number 18, please. من المهم له أن يحسن رأيه قريبا. Is that number 18? We're on page 177, um, it's number 18. Oh, sorry, okay. Okay. Uh, a scientist. Uh, I don't know uh, the meaning of the first uh, word. Astronomer, astronomer, uh, and fada, maybe. Oh, okay. Um, uh, looking at 17. Um, sorry. Okay. Um, as better, or the uh, 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 okay. uh, Thank you, very much. Uh, thank, you. Please, please. thank you very much, Mesa. You gave a wonderful translation. You do not need to change your mind because when you change your mind, I'm afraid you will give us a false translation. This one is correct. This is very beautiful. You don't have any, there is no need at all to change it. So now you see this exercise is very wonderful for you to translate. Do not all the time look at the exercises as a grammar just look at them if they are correct sentences like this exercise and doesn't need any kind of any kind of uh, correction please go ahead and translate them put them in the Facebook group so that we can discuss them with the other colleagues and we have we have now the next uh, We're running short of time, I'm afraid, so that we have to conclude with this chapter, with the last exercise that you know. And the last exercise is, is going to be on, as usual, 
Can you see this is a very wonderful chapter because it's full of sentences that are very useful for you. Try to do all of these exercises because we have only eight lectures and we need to finish them all anyway. So we will start we we will finish with this exercise. Who would like to do number one? So check for the verb, subject, verb, morphism, neither repeated and anyway, yes, 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 yes. So, uh, I think Huda would say something about number one. Huda was there. And also, today, our navigator was until recently considered the first weapon to sail to the new world. Uh, uh, Columbus, uh, number P? Yes, because we have a verb, so we need the subject thank you very much now we move to another person we will move to fatima please fatima could you please help us number two yeah number two also a we have we have a verb so eclipse yeah. <laughs> an eclipse yes it's an eclipse occurs because okay. we have a subject we have a verb but we don't have a subject thank you very much Ali, number three. Yes, number three. Uh, answer is D, most. Mm, yes, because we have a subject missing here. Thank you very much. Now we move to number five. Number five, I think, is a Saber who will do number five. It was in. Number it eight. It was in, yes, uh, because we need a subject and a verb. Both of them are absent. Thank you very much. Maybe you will, uh, will help us with number six. Uh, a book that contains information about the yearly movement of the sun and the moon. Um, Number D. <laughs> Sorry, uh, give me one try. Uh, the number A. An Alanco is a book that contains information about that thing. Exactly, yes. This is what you say. It's an Alamanc is because we need the verb and we need the subject. Thank you very much. Uh, well, uh, I think we move now to Sana. Sana would like to help us maybe with number seven. <laughs> Um, uh, the answer is B. Yes, because we need a subject. Thank you very much. We don't have a subject. We don't have a subject, so we need it. Yes, exactly. Yes, that's right. Uh, Amina, we would like to have Amina, and Amina would like to do number eight. Uh, a bird species. A bird species a usually a gains public recognition, yes, because we need. We do need uh, a subject, yes, that's right. Well, you're doing very well on these exercises, but you need now to translate them from, uh, from English into Arabic. And uh, remember that we need to see this translation exercise on the Facebook group that we have. Number uh, nine, and we have number ten. We will finish with this lecture today. Maha will do number nine. Um, dry cleaning. Dry cleaning is a wet process in which the first step involves soaking garment. Okay. Yes, so because because we need we need really the in which the yes because we need the subject. We don't have it, so we need. Thank you very much. Finally, number 10, and I think number 10, number 10, let me see who will do number 10. We have the same hands, the same hands. Now I'd like to ask Fatima to conclude this exercise with number 10. Bugs, it's number B. Bugs are sometimes called uh, rats of the air. 
So which one? Which noun? Yes, it is B. You said B. Yes, that's right, because we need a subject. And uh, that would be the end of this chapter. We did not answer all of these exercises. We did not do all of these exercises simply because what I want you to do is not to do the exercises as much as I want you to translate them from English into Arabic. This is the most difficult one in translation in this book and you need to translate it. And in order to know whether you are translating in the right way or not, just please put your translation in the group, in the Facebook group, and you will see the correct answers maybe by other people. We will try just to make some discussions and sometimes we may not be making a discussion at all, but anyway, this is what we have. So that would be the end of today's lecture. I will see you tomorrow, hopefully at the same time. And next time we will move to another page, another chapter. This time is going to be something more interesting, less demanding, which is called the verbals. And it's going to be, check the verbals, it's going to be on page 190. Uh, remember, if we want a translation in chapter, check for, su for subalteration. What we are more most interested in is translation from English into Arabic. So that would be the end of today's lecture. Uh, I will see you next time, inshallah. The only thing I can say now to you is good night, sweet dreams.